I'm going to be showing you how to make sweet corn and rice vermicelli dish. This is a literally 10 minute dish. It's a very easy and tasty dish. Um, ingredients, you need this rice stick. They, you can easily get them from Vibi and Sons, but there are two types of rice noodles. These are the thin ones. Uh, so try to get the very thin noodles. They come up like this. If I take them out of the packet. So you can see this is a very, very thin noodles. The other noodles that come, they're more for a Chinese dish. But this is a thin noodle. So the ingredients you need is this rice noodles, sweet corn, ginger, one chili, coriander, lemon, salt, turmeric powder, uh, hing if you like hing and if you like you can add some peppers to it so that's your choice um, you can add more vegetables to it so I'm just going to be adding peppers today so uh, uh, I've boiled the water I've boiled the water so I'm going to add one and a half spoons of salt in there so when you're boiling uh, noodles or spaghetti or pasta or anything like that it's nice just to add the salt in the water so it goes in uh, this literally takes five minutes to boil because these are very thin noodles um, so I'm going to put them in the boiling water on the side I'm going to prepare the ingredients which is the sauce so I've got um, half a bunch of coriander which I soaked in the water so it gets the soil out I've got two inches of ginger. I'm going to peel it quickly, wash it, and grind everything together. So the two inch of ginger goes in with the coriander. I've just chunked it in a food processor. I'm also going to wash the chili. I'm not going to make it too hot. This is going to be mild because the people I'm cooking for they like mild, but if you like a little bit of kick to it, just add two chilies. The chilies are going in there and I'll add just about two spoons of water to make a puree of these uh, ingredients. Okay, as you can see, these noodles are boiled. It took five minutes to boil. So I'm just going to add the sweet corn in there. There's two handfuls of sweet corn going in there. And that will boil for one or two seconds. And we'll drain the noodles and the sweet corn together. But when you drain it, it's quite important you add a lot of cold water so it doesn't get all sticky. So I'll leave it for two seconds and then I'm going to drain all these things. Meanwhile, I have minced the coriander ginger and the chili this is how it looks it's chunky and it's nice and green in there so i like to mince everything together but you can have a choice of just mincing ginger and chili and doing coriander chopped if you like but i normally mince it so this is the mixture that i've minced um we will also have one half a lemon in there some salt and some turmeric powder so i'll show you in the next step what we're doing can we I'm just going to drain these uh, noodles and the sweet corn. As mentioned before, I'm going to add a lot of cold water. So I'm going to go near the sink and add a lot of cold water in there so it doesn't get sticky. So you can see it for you. Step two, you have a nice dry pot. Uh, you add about one spoon of oil and it's on a medium heat and you let it heat to smoking. You can see the smoke coming out. I'm going to add some um, mustard seeds. They're mixed with uh, cumin seeds and let it pop. Once it's pop, you'll see it's, uh, you can see the sound of it coming out. Once all the seeds are popped, you add in the sweet corn 
and the noodles. So these are the noodles we already boiled and I'm going to add the noodles and put them in here. I'm also going to be adding some chopped pepper to give it a nice color. So this was half a packet of noodles, around about 500 grams of uh, sweet corn. So with that amount of ingredients you need, as we already added the salt while it was boiling, so I'm just going to add one level spoon of salt in here and just a little bit of turmeric powder, half a spoon of turmeric powder. And in goes the ground ingredients that we made, the coriander, the ginger and, and the chili. But try to use fresh ingredients rather than taking out of the frozen. It does make a lot of difference in the taste. So this is the color you can see. It's like a nice green color with a little bit of yellow in there. If you like, you can add red peppers instead of green to make it nice and colorful. Now you can just let it cook for uh, let about five minutes on a medium heat and it will all be done and once it's done you add half a lemon which is squeezed I try to use fresh lemon not bottled lemon so the lemon goes in in the end and you mix the ingredients and the food is ready you offer it to Krishna and have a nice meal thank you